He said, yeah, we've been on the phone since like seven something this morning. <laughs> Stop again. How y'all been on the phone since seven something this morning and we all was in the back together at seven something this morning, baby. What are we talking about? So I'm like, okay, like this, this shit getting weird. Cause when I tell y'all I be up, baby, me, the sun and the birds just be rising together. Like. What's up, what's good, what's poppin' to this your girl, I like Sally. As y'all ready by the title, y'all know what's going on. Right now, 6.49 in the morning, I'm on my way to work. So, we're gonna see what this is. I ain't been to work in the past two days. I've been doing homework for the past two days. But, um, it's been kinda cool, been kinda decent. But it's a little weird, like, you know, trying to figure out my work schedule right now. But, we on our way to our regular store. I'm gonna go to another store on Monday, but yeah, on my way to the store. Some days I be thinking like, damn, why am I, you know what I'm saying? I do not want to be at this job. Like, it's cool though, we're gonna see where it go. I'm running a little behind, so I'm gonna pick back up the camera soon. I just ain't talk to y'all in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I think my biggest thing be like being consistent. But I'm trying to do better. I just don't be knowing what to post and what not to post, you know? So. We just gonna see where this goes. But um yeah, outside, not in, everybody sleeping and stuff. You know? Anyway, I'll be back up the camera in a minute. Talk to you soon. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know what time it is in the morning. It's four something though. And I gotta open a store today. So oh so we're here. It's hella musty. Y'all see it's dark as hell. Uh, this is crazy. It's hella dark outside. I do not like, oh, it's an armadillo. Oh no, it's cold. But um, yeah, today's my first day opening up the store. We gotta open a store. Anyway, today's my first day opening up the store. I gotta get to the store at six. Um, I'm gonna get there a little bit before six. I brought my lunch today. I feel like a real grown-up right now, but it's over cold, and I don't know how many days of the week I'm gonna be able to do this. I ain't lying, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna have a cool little day at work today. Um, I did go to sleep early, so I'm not overtired, but a little crazy. Like it's literally, it's literally dark. Like people probably coming back from parties and stuff. I don't know, <laughs> but anyway. I'm going to pick back up the camera. I know I did not tell the story yesterday of what happened. So hopefully I get some time to tell y'all what the hell happened yesterday. But yeah. Blessed and highly favored per usual. Now, let's go get some money on. So. Hey vlog. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let me tell y'all about, so I remember last time I picked up the camera, I had said something about telling you the story time about my job. So here we are, story time, woohoo. So I wanna say about a week and a half ago now, I had ended up um, leaving town basically to go take pictures. And I was talking to my manager about it, like it was kind of poor communication on my end, but I also was telling him like, I'm not gonna be there. So kind of like, don't really expect me to be there. It was kind of like a last minute thing, whatever, whatever. So I really was coming back thinking that like, you know, I probably damn near don't got no job. But anyway, that's here nor there. Boom, I get back to work and I'm starting to feel the type of way. Cause like, you call me blowing my phone down, call me ASAP, da 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 da. I might call you to ask you like, hey, am I coming in today? I'm communicating like, hey, I'm not coming back until this day, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, we advanced in the tournament this and the third. It's just a whole bunch of nonsense and BS. So when I finally had made it back, he was not answering my calls. So I, I ended up going up to work, like, and I called him now magically and mysteriously he answered the phone when I already drove there. So I was really irritated. And he was like, nah, you don't work today, come back tomorrow. So I'm making my car, like I was, I was salty a little bit, like whatever. So then, one thing had led to another. I ended up coming in the next day for him to tell me to go up the road 20 minutes. So I'm like, damn, like, what's all, what's all the, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? So I ended up going up the road and I ended up liking it there like a lot. Like the store is bigger. It's cool. It's cool little vibe. Like it's not bad. 
and I like the people that's working in there. I think that's important. So I got there. I'm like, okay, cool. So in my head, you already wasn't answering my phone call. So if I like it here and he's telling me he has more. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Prior to me going to the store, my original manager had told me that my shift was changing from Monday to Friday to only Saturday and Sunday. Excuse me? What are you? What? What the fuck? What? I'm going to do with that. So I was like, okay. So when I got to the other store, of course, I asked this manager, like, hey, do you have hours? Because they end up sending us to other stores that may need help. So I'm asking him, like, do you need help? Do your store have hours, et cetera, et cetera. He tell me, yes, we exchange contact information. Boom. I had a cool little day there. He like how I work, all this and that. So then the next day I end up going back to the same store. But if I would have never got his number the day prior to that, baby, I would have been SOL. I end up texting my original manager and his ass act like his phone don't work. Are you being a hater right now? This is dumb. So anyway, I end up like saying if this store has more hours, then I'm, I want to come here. Like, and I know I'm not going to be able to just keep coming here off the street that I work at a different store. So I was like, yeah, I need to get moved over here. If you got the availability for me, he like we need, like our store needs help. Mind you, my original store is small and overstaffed. So fast forward, I'm in, I end up considering like transfer, whatever. So before, like I mentioned it to him just to be like, you know, just to be respectful about the situation, but like he making it seem like it's sweet and it's extra sour. So I just was like, okay. So he gets salty, called my phone, talking about something. You trying to leave my store? Are you trying to leave my store? Excuse me? Who are you talking to? Is you cool? Like, relax. Anyway, hi. I said, oh, hello to you too. I don't care who you are, baby. You, are you okay? Did your mother not teach you respect? Why are you mad, first of all? Let's, you know what I'm saying? Pump the rakes. So, we end up having a conversation, and I'm already irritated because you, you coming in extra hot. 700 miles per hour, baby. Relax. How you mad at me because I want to go get some money that you don't want to let me get? How the fuck are you mad at me? You think I want to sit here? You think I'm going to let you, like, not? Come on, bro. I got the job. That's what I needed. Now that I'm at my job and I'm doing my work, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to sit here and bicker with you, baby. If they got what I need, I'm leaving. Trade. See ya. What are we talking about? Like, bro, I just felt kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. So that ends up happening. The next day, I end up going into work. And I just felt like, you know, when somebody want, that, want their name to look so good, they be trying to put extra pressure on other people. I'm not that type of person, baby. You're going to talk to me with some respect, boo. Or else my dad, you know, that man, just because I'm out of state don't mean I'm untouchable, baby. That man will be on the next flight smoking. See you in a second, okay? Let's relax. So anyway, I'm like, um, we not we not doing you know we not doing this type of conversation. So I I don't like the like when you got power. I don't like you to act like you extra high power. And no, you're a human just like I'm a human. The only thing that's different is you have a little bit more certification, baby. So you can you know what I'm saying we're hey. So anyway. We're, we end up like the vibes and that next morning was just disgusting and I just was like I was like, okay I was not feeling it from the jump like when I walked in originally the phone call the night prior was Come in at 630. I said do you really mean 630 or you know, he said no, 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 you good Just come in at 730 Now this man has a good habit of literally saying that he gonna be there at a certain time and don't be there at a certain time But you know it is what it is like I can't get in the building if you you don't have, you know what I'm saying, if you're not here, because I don't have no key. So, here nor there, he ended up telling me to come in at 7.30. So, I ended up getting there a little bit late. You know, I made my wrong. I got there at 7.45. My fault, you know what I'm saying. Store opens at 8. I first get in, boom, I clock in. The computer don't work. So, we there for a good five more minutes. Boom, computer finally work. I clock in. We go to the back, discuss what we're doing for the day. Um stuff like that really wasn't like too too much going on before that we had like a small little little josen conversation but nothing too too major it was like weird energy it wasn't it wasn't normal 
So then we go to the back. We sitting there I'm about to start doing my work. My coworker like, you know, just wait till I get it organized. If this is what we finna do, this is all we finna push right now. So uh, we're going to make it easy. We're going to organize it. Woo -woo. I want to say like 15 minutes later, like we we back there moving through moving through the little containers, like getting everything put together. Manager called me to the front talking about some, oh, me and such and such been on the phone watching you for the past hour. Keep in mind, I clocked in at 7.50. It's now like, I want to say 8.20 something, damn near 8.30. If math is math and it's 60 minutes an hour, how the fuck have y'all been there on the phone for the past hour watching me on the camera when I ain't even been there for the whole hour, let alone been clocked in for an hour? You get what I'm saying? So I instantly, ah, stop, you know what I'm saying? I said, excuse me? He said, yeah, we've been on the phone since like seven something this morning. Ah, stop again. How y'all been on the phone since seven something this morning and we all was in the back together at seven something this morning, baby? What are we talking about? So I'm like, okay, like this, this shit getting weird. So he get to, Looking all stressed out. Calm down. Your blood pressure is rising and I'm not even doing you nothing. How you mad because you lying? And I'm telling you, you lying. To... Do better. Lie better. You could have said, the, you. if the timeline made sense, I probably wouldn't be mad. Your dumb ass decided to say some outrageous ass shit. Now you mad because I told you that you said some dumb ass shit. This is dumb. But anyway, so, boom, he get to... <sighs> I, I just I just gotta be real with you. I just got well, uh, give it to me straight. What are we talking about? He like you. I just I uh, and can't get it out. Are you is you cool? You you doing who ad libs is you doing right now? You throwing me off right now. You're really throwing me off. I'm like I'm like I just feel like you wanted a problem since I got here this morning. Like you're trying to find something to do. Like I walked off. I'm telling you I'm about to go do work. Like you trying to say the same thing. You want me to go go, go put the stuff on the shelf. That's what I'm about to go do. He, you know what you can clock out and da, da, da. i'm like bro like i can't win with you like i'm literally walking away from you so it's no confrontation i didn't disrespect you in no way i literally said okay turn around now now it's oh um, no, 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 no. you need an inhaler i got my pump right here if you need it like let's come on is you cool bro so i i instantly i'm irritated like I literally just woke up two days straight for nothing, basically, like, so now I'm pissed off, like, you wasting my time, I feel like you playing in my face right now, so I called, you feel me, the manager from the other store, and I'm like, do you have any hours today, because I just drove out here basically for nothing, he just sent me home, he asked me what happened, so I'm telling him what happened, you want to project whatever, you know what I'm saying, nonsense you got going on me, it's crazy, so I got to turn it up, and I had left, and... I end up going back in later on. I didn't get back to like, I want to say like nine something. And then I had to be up extra early the next morning. I think I woke up at like 425-ish, 415, something like that. Because I had to go open the store. I feel like that was loud and it's been loud for a minute. But I had to go open the store. So, yeah, I had to wake up extra early just to make sure I got to work on time. Cause I stay fake far, um, cause this story is like a little further, but I don't care. You giving me more hours, so put a little something, something in the tank. We're good, we're good. Keep chugging, but nah. Um, so now we're here. I had an off day today, so I figured I'd finally catch you up on what's been going on. I like it here though. I right, it's a cool little vibe at the store. I'm actually learning something at my job. Um, that's pretty cool though that's it and i feel like i feel like it was like an upgrade aside from that my dad had sent me my amp for my car i don't know if i told y'all or not like i don't have my i blew my amp a minute ago and i've been here at school like miserable because i have been playing music off my speaker instead you know hey don't judge me we all done been there like i done been in plenty of situations where my homegirls homeboys whatever we get in the car it's just like it's cool whatever i want my music back so my amp here um so yeah, we're gonna be with music soon. So I might turn something on and just, you know, act a little crazy. Cool. Um, I'm excited for that. I got work in the morning. What else do I want to tell y'all? I don't know. I just feel like I ain't posted in a minute, and I really don't feel like sitting and editing a whole video when I can just give y'all a full story time on what's been going on. 
um, and a little compilation of like me getting up early in the morning. Cause when I tell you I be up, baby, me, the sun and the birds just be rising together. Like, come on. I be having fun though. Like it'd be cool. It's a cool little vibe early in the morning. Um, the little drive though, it'd be annoying, but it's cool waking up early and then my day be done midday. So I still have time to do anything. Give me a little nap in, of course. Are you crazy? <laughs> Give me a nap in, give me a little snack or two, and then come back outside to the world. Like, I feel, I be feeling accomplished. Like, I be getting a lot done during my day. Don't get me wrong. Um, before I step back outside, I probably do some, something productive. Because I finally get, oh my gosh. I finally did my classwork. And this is a good FaceTime. This is good. I love y'all. Anyway. Um, wow, this is cool. This is a good catch-up session. I like this. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, um, I just got really excited. But, yeah, I'm excited. I caught up in my classes. I think I was kind of stressed out about that the most because, whew, baby, life be life and sometimes. And I just don't have it in me right now for nothing to go wrong. Like, so, yeah, I needed to get back on that. And I feel more accomplished because I just felt like that was my worst like, I didn't have no control over it. So, it just was annoying. Like, knowing that my grades are going down and I can't control it. But it's cool. Though. We, we're we good. We're in the door. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. I think that's the end of this. I think I'm hanging up on you. I don't have nothing else to say. Love you. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's the end of this. I think I'm hanging up on you. I don't have nothing else to say. Love you. <laughs>